everybody who look like us here as you saw in the beginning in this video we're taking a look at a graphics pack from Mosiocam, which uh, you will find in the description of this video down below it's in a very affordable price and it contains over 1250 graphics these graphics work for final cut pro 10 10.3.0 or higher and the apple motion 5.3.0 or higher also in the description of this video you will find a free starter pack where you can try the pack first before you are ready to go and buy it i will go through uh, some of the titles and uh, the transitions also it has some sound effects as well so i can name it as a complete pack for a youtuber to creating your videos and uh, we will use as a reference a video from venice that i have posted uh, long before in my channel and in the description of this video you will find the video of venice as well if you want to see how was Venice from my eye. So without any further ado, let's start first of all, after you have downloaded this pack, how you're gonna install it. You will go into movies, motion templates, and then you will go into titles. And from the pack that you have downloaded, you will go into the Toco graphics files. And what I did was to select all of them, command C to copy, and then command V to paste them into the titles. Same thing as well, you will go into the transitions, you will select the transitions, you will copy them, command C, and then you go into the transitions and paste them here. So we have titles, we have transitions, and also on this pack is included some sound effects. So you have sound effects for bubbles, data, whooshes, clicks, bass, percussion, glitch, blah, 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 etc. As you can see, 22 folders of sound effects that you can use copyright free for your videos and let's go now and see what we can actually create for example if we go here into the title section we will see all the available graphic elements we see that we have backgrounds basic shapes big titles callouts devices gradients infographics interface icons logo reveals lower thirds shape lines social media text messages, titles, typography, weather icons. I'm not going to go into all of this, as you can understand, because the video would go over an hour, two hours, etc. But let's go and see the titles. Okay, I'm scrolling down. If you mouse over, you can see, you can preview the titles. All right, we're, we're looking for something to begin the Venice. So, for example, if I drag this and put it on top here, I'm going to adjust this, Command Plus to zoom in a little bit. And in the Inspector panel, we can choose the fonts. Uh, one good reminder here, in the package, you will find how you can download the fonts as well, that they are included in this pack. Okay, and if we click now here on this T text, uh, tab on the inspector panel you can change what the first text is gonna be let's change it to venice trip okay if i go now into let's go into the middle okay all right and as you can see down from here you can change the color text for example if you don't want yellow you can click on it make it green let's keep it well let's keep it as it is you can change the phone for the text a the venice or the text b the trip and also you can change the size if you want for example the venice to be bigger you can change the position as well of the title where you want to be as you can see here from the x and y axis the title scale the whole title so let's make it a little bit bigger and also you can set if you want a build in and build out what that means to have a transition as you can see here when it's built in and also a build out so it can go out as well on this logic all the other titles you can choose and it's so easy as you're seeing right now very easy we have plenty of options for titles let's go and see also the typography here okay we have plenty plenty of options like you can use them for example something like this could be a recipe a good recipe for a food vlog or um, something like this could be a very nice introduction for a tech review like professional motion designer this is the iphone 12 pro for example 
Okay, let's move on a little bit to the video um, and let's see what else we can put here. Ah, also we have some P titles and here I see also we have some 3D elements. Let's check this out as well. I'm staying into titles, but you know, titles is something that a lot of times we're struggling to find out a good package of titles. Okay, uh, I'm going to disable the building so we can see the whole uh, picture here. Hello. Edit text C. Everybody. Okay, and this is Toco Graphics version 2. All right, let's delete it. We don't want it. Okay, and if we play to see, hello everybody. And if I click on the build in, let's see the nice hello everybody. Perfect. Hello everybody. We understood that, Emilio. And let's move on. What else do we have? Ah, perfect. Logo reveal. So, for example, let's say that you want to go into the end of your video. Somewhere, let's say somewhere here. You can grab the YouTube as a logo reveal. Perfect. You're going to select it. And let's say your channel. YouTube.com slash Emilio Takas. And the text A size, as you can see here, I can make it smaller. And also if I click that with my mouse or my trackpad or my laptop, I can move it. So I can make it center to the YouTube logo. Perfect. Let's just... And if we click here again, we can change the marketenvato.com to emilio.media, for example, our website. From here, we can change the fonts. As I said, you can download the, all the included fonts that are there in this pack and use them. And let's see how it's going to look in full size. Simply as that, we have a very nice and very good outro for our videos. As you can see here, we have also plenty of other options for social media and also we have a separate uh, section only for social media. So let's say that here on this section, we want to remind our users to follow us on Twitter. So we can drag this, place it here and we can go to the Twitter account, for example. Okay, I'm writing. And we can also add the at in the beginning. Follow me, follow me at emiliotakas.com. And this is the Twitter. Okay, but we don't want it to be here. So how we can change it? We can change all scale. Okay, and then grab it. And then go here, select into the transform, select it and place it, for example, here. Okay, let's see. Follow me at Emilio Takas. Perfect. You have also the option for uh, Instagram, for likes. Let's count our likes. Let's say that we want this video to be, and I'm saying that seriously now. I don't think that it's going to happen, but let's say we want it to be, let's set the number. We're going to click here on the inspector panel. Number value. I want this to be something realistic. Okay. 1,200 likes. And we're starting counting the likes. 100 and 2,000 likes. Number value for 100, 2,000. Yeah, it's going to be 1,201. Okay, then we also have the text messages. I don't know if you have seen that, you know, people that they're talking with uh, their mobile phones, they're sending messages. So let's go and grab a text. Okay. We can select this. We will go here and uh, let's say meet me at the park. Okay. And from Emilio at 19. Oh, whoa. okay. That was very European. So let's do it 7 p.m. Better. As you can see, we can change the whole message here. Okay. And I can drag this and place it here. S stick with me, stick with me. 
OK. We can change the size, as you can see here, of the X, Y and Z only if we want. And if I click this and duplicate it and place it a little bit later on top. All right. OK. at 702 and we can have a nice animation like this one and you can continue the whole conversation we also have infographics like if we're uh, if you're a tech re reviewer right now and you want to have a nice graphic that shows for example percent of the battery or um, you want let's see what other options we have here? A pie chart. A pie chart. That's also very good. Yep, plenty of options. We also can have some gradients on it. And gradients, they can be used, for example, let me just blade this here, lift it on top. You will understand exactly what I'm going to do right now. And let's make the scale all lower. You can grab and place the gradient on the bottom and we can have a gradient playing while the actual video is playing. Let's also do this grain white as you saw. I drag it, place it underneath and boom like that. We can have different of things that we can use to enhance our videos. Basic shapes as well. Let's add some basic shapes basic shapes here i'm dragging place it boom we have the basic shapes and we also have call outs that's also another good thing for uh youtubers for um, especially tech reviewers if you drag and place the call out let's say here is the gondolier so you can go here and place who is this guy perfect and we have the call out. Nice, nice. And one thing that I want to see as well, I'm going to blade this so we can have a transition. We go into the transitions and we can see that we have camera transitions and this is like camera movements, transitions. Let's say that, let's go, let's see, okay, we're going to the right. So let's use this, place it here in the transitions. Boom. And we have a move to the right transition ready for us to use. And we also have flat transitions that we can use for our videos. This is something also that can be used in the beginning or at the end of a video. Let's Or when you change subject in your videos. That's also very good for vlogs. You use this, boom, down, and we change to a different video and we have the overlay transitions as well and how we're going to use it we can lift this from storyline so you need it to have it on top you can drag the overlay here and you will see boom because we have the footage on top of the other video here as you can see we're putting it on top we're adding the overlay transition and we can move on to the next video. Very nice package. Uh, as I said, I have the links in the description of this video for you to get it. And so if you have any questions, I will be more than happy to answer them in the comment section of this video down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.